Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of TerraTech. And on this episode, we are quite literally continuing right where we left off. Other than the fact in between this episode and the last, I went ahead and, uh, you know, built a few more blocks. You can kind of see it's coming together a little bit better than it was before. It is still rather, uh, you know, kind of basic and very much unfinished, and there's not a whole lot of weapons. It's very front heavy and the back is very vulnerable right now. I will fix that. But on this episode, we are going to continue in our travels to uh, to harvest some more money so that we can build a better bot. One that will not get beaten up so quickly. Now, I would normally just, <laughs> holy crap, this is getting a little ridiculous. And the front of my bot is incredibly heavy and it's still doing this. Oh my god, this, we should, you know what we could do. Yeah, you know what I'm going to do. I am going to go into build mode. Let's see, can I move one of these things? Oh, it's still doing this little dance of horrors. Let's move one of these things here. And I'm going to put that right on the front of my bots. It's really, really dangerous to do something like this. But at the moment, I think this is probably our best bet to kind of stop this sort of thing from happening. I can, Yeah, so you can see them right in there. We got some resources that are just dancing around. Let me see if I can pull them out. Actually, I'll go ahead and pull that out. Toss that to the side. There's a piece of wood in there. Come on, let me see you again. There you go. I'll toss that out as well. And there is a little piece of, uh, of this stuff as well, but I'm hoping that we can uh, go ahead and avoid that. I mean, maybe we just want it there. We can keep it still. And like I said, doing this thing over here on the side, holy crap. These wheels are so over encumbered because they're just not up to the job. Let me let me put a better wheel there. Uh, I even hate picking up these wheels at all, but it's better than nothing. Now we can move a little bit better. Still can't turn very well. That's because like 90% of our base and yeah, our wheels and our bot got completely destroyed on the last episode. It does kind of suck in that sort of thing happen, but it is part of the game. It is one of those things you're going to have to get used to. Uh, you know, you spend a lot of time making this huge thing only to have it completely destroyed. Uh, you know what? We will we'll take the risk. I think uh, feeling kind of adventurous, we'll put another one over here. That way you can sell two at one time and it can carry a little bit more. Let's see where I want to take. I'll take this over here. That way it can drag a little bit more. Maybe, maybe uh, a third one might help. Maybe we can make this go a little quicker. And whatever's left, yeah, there we go. That should be good. Now we can make some money. Unfortunately, this is a little slower because it's not going to fine like it was back in the back. But we still have those pieces back here. It can still be refined and sold off. Uh, it just, for whatever reason, it does not seem to want to get back here like in previous updates. It, it really wasn't an issue. I would run over this stuff and, you know, it'd be pretty much fine. I was thinking, you know, the way to fix that might be to make this stuff semi, uh, I don't know what would be the word, not like transparent, but semi not there. That way it can kind of just flow right through your base. There's real no, there's really no reason it needs substance. You know, it's just resources that you pick up. You just need to be able to click on it and, uh, you know, convert it into stuff and then sell it. It doesn't need to have mass because from what I'm told, and I'm not sure I agree with this, but from what I've told, when you have it on your your conveyor belt, it doesn't weigh anything anyway. So some people have actually used that to their advantage. And what they will do, like in the instance of an airplane, is they will actually, uh, you know, put conveyor belts on their airplane for the sole reason I'm stuck. Seriously, how am I stuck? Uh, I'm stuck right here. There we go. Let's get rid of that. Okay. That's poor planning and drive more wheels. But they'll put those on their uh, their airplane and then put really heavy pieces like to a base or something like that and use it as a storage area. They will just have it on their conveyor belt until they get to their location. And that way it doesn't add any weight to their bot in the process. So there's already methods that you can use to kind of get rid of that, that weight limit in the first place. So I think they would be better off if they of themselves my opinion doesn't have a whole lot of the game. As far as challenging goes, uh, not really. I mean, it's more of a teaching problem that you could have the game to challenge. Uh, I guess, you know, if you're going to 
small and tracking pads and stuff, it could add up. But from what I've seen, most people just carry their base with them. And in situations like that, uh, you're just selling the resources off almost as quickly as you pick them up. And so, again, weight is really not a factor. And so I'm not really quite sure what they're hoping to get out of that other than to, to cause some people some annoyance with, uh, with the dancing robot. <laughs> you know, that's basically what it was doing is it was, uh, sorry guys, is it was dancing for us. And it's funny to see, but not really that useful. I can't imagine ever using that in a fight uh, and being happy about it. Like, I could see that, that happening in a fight if the enemy, like, breaks a whole bunch of stuff and we have our base bot with us and we're just like, oh, okay, now we have to go over all this stuff to get away. And, man, what am I getting stuck on? I am just too front heavy is what it is, and I don't have the wheels to... That's what we're going to have to buy. We're going to have to buy some better wheels. But I'll do that at night when I don't like roaming around. Now, the enemies, for the most part, have been somewhat leaving me alone until I was sitting still, which, you know, as I said on the last episode, was supposed to be a pretty good method to ensure that, uh, you know, enemies don't show up as often. And, yeah, I... You know, it's funny, I'm sitting there for about five minutes uh, building the thing, and it's not like four of the uh, the enemy bots show up. Thankfully, I was able to run away from three of them, <laughs> screaming and crying, that, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. And then uh, I was able to kill the last one, which happened to, uh, to you know, kind of corner me in a little area that I didn't like. And then I went back to my location and picked up my my terminal that I had left behind that the enemy for some weird reason did not destroy. Uh, although I know they're capable of doing it because I have left my base, uh, as, for, as you guys seen on this patch alone, um, when I left my base unattended for about, I don't know, 25 seconds, uh, it could make the whole thing got destroyed and I had to start all over again. So it is possible for that to happen. Uh, there we go. Come on, pick up. Pick it up. Nice. So the front side is making very little money. The back side is making even more money when it decides to actually uh, sell. But it kind of bounces around for quite some time before it even gets to that point. And I don't want to go over there. There's an enemy. Some of you guys may be like, oh, this is kind of boring. Well, this is part of the game, unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it. I tend to think this is kind of a relaxing way of spending your time when you've done battles for too much. You know, I mean, going and designing your bot. I think is the best aspect of this game. And so maybe one day, holy crap, that guy is huge. We're not going in that direction. They're kind of cornering me off here, guys. If you can see, I have pretty much a bot in every direction. Now they're somewhat far apart, so they don't show up on the radar all at once, uh, but they're there. So I'm very, very limited at the moment of where I can go. Okay. I gotta get a cool tray. right oh no is he coming for me i hope not oh they're kind of cornering me over look at that yeah and this is like a really bad spot to be in for, uh, for the most part for my bot because it's just too hilly and my bot sucks right now it sucks so bad i'll be the first one to admit to it it's probably way too wide to be honest but uh you know this was what my bot was doing it was uh you know being designed like this and it was actually being very very effective there for a while but then, you know, losing all of those wheels and all of the uh, the, the blocks has kind of made me think that maybe I should shrink it back down to size. So there's another one right over there. Yeah, they're just all around me. And they're all super, super big with tons and tons of weapons. And weapons are really, really expensive. I wish I could make some myself. Uh, and somebody was telling me that I could, but I don't know what the recipe is and... Every single time I try doing that, it just doesn't seem to want to do it for me. Like, I, I've even tried using the recipe, and I don't know if they've changed it or what, but, yeah, it does not seem to be working. Let me, let me move this. It needs more it needs more wheels over here. What about over here? Any wheels? Uh, there's no wheels there. I guess I could throw one on. Not right there, but over here in the front. Maybe help it out a little bit more. And maybe with any luck, I can get out of this little roundabout. They kind of force me in. I'm not liking that at all. I don't like these. I need to find one of these bodies. It's super easy that I can destroy. I can jump out of this whole little. Maybe this guy over here. Probably not because he's over here in the, 
the desert region. Where is he? Yeah, he's super small. They're probably still gonna wipe the floor with me because I only have like four weapons. There we go. Die, you punk. Yes, yes. Revenge. Ha <laughs> ha yeah. That's what you get. Now give me a weapon. There we go. That makes it all worthwhile. So we'll put that. You know what? We're gonna put that down here because I need some weapons that can actually hit something. And I don't know. Do we want to drill? I don't ever charge. Like, I guess if you were big into charging, or if you had a really fast bot, you could, like, spin around the guy and come up from behind him and just, like, completely, completely catch him on guard and just, just push into him so those things can actually take full effect. I think that would be very useful, but I've never been that kind of uh, player who likes, you know, taking that kind of risk to uh, to just run, o run over and just, what is this, a light? I think it's just a light, yeah. If it ever loads up, no, 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 it doesn't want to give me the description. You hover above it, it gives you a description. There you go, GSO Storm Lantern, yeah. So, I try to avoid those for the most part because they take up a spot on your block, and later on, when you're trying to design it and add more stuff all over it, uh, you'll notice that uh, you can't put something down. You're like, why can't I put anything down there? Because it's almost invisible. Uh, unless you're really paying close attention. Wow, there's a lot of lag. It's not like the uh, the desert region for some reason. I guess maybe because it is getting nighttime, and I have tons and tons of of resources on my pot right now. Oh, you know what? We made a weapon. Holy crap, guys! We made a weapon. Oh yes. So let me go ahead and hover above it. GSO fabricator, and it should tell me what the recipe is. There we go. So I need by. And I need the black stuff. Okay, we can do that. What is this? GSO blinker headlight? Seriously? We made a headlight? Oh my god, that's funny. I might actually use those just for kicks. So we need... Oh, we made a couple of weapons. Oh my god, yes. That's exactly what we need. Well, we're going to find more of those resources. No, undo that. Uh, don't go to build mode. Stop toss. I wish there was a way to take this stuff off a little easier to be honest because once it gets all tangled up in there it can be very very hard to see where things are until everything gets sold and when you have it on your bot like this and it just keeps moving uh, suck it I did not mean to did we make a block too I don't think we did I think that was just already there there we go we got a weapon there and this is the headlight if I can get it off we can see how much light it gives eh, no it's okay it's actually not that much light to be honest kind of wish there was more of it what do we need again? We need the... Okay, well, if we hover about a little bit longer, we'll see. Let it pop up. There we go. So we have this already. We just need this. And I don't remember where we got that. But we're definitely going to look for more of it. We're definitely going to get more of that. Oh, my God. That that is going to make us so uber, guys, if we can get a whole bunch of weapons. Let's, uh, let's put you guys down here because I really, really don't care about the headlights too much as far as getting destroyed. I definitely don't want, you know, pieces to go to waste or anything like that. Oh my god, this guy's coming right for us, isn't he? He's coming right for us. Oh, come on, move. Move, you heavy hunk of chunk of... This is crazy. This is way, way too heavy. Oh, I need more wheels. And wheels are kind of expensive as well. I think they were like... Four it's within our range, we can do that. We can buy a whole bunch more wheels and blocks uh, here in a few minutes uh, in between this video and the next. Like I said, I think this one's just going to be a hard one to my doctor. Now, some of you guys may have uh, seen that I had some issues with my channel. Uh, thankfully, it's all got resolved as far as I can tell. Like, I never got an email from Google about anything. Uh, one day it was working, one day it wasn't. And then uh, I fished and did all that stuff I was supposed to Never heard back from him on whether, you know, the issue was a mistake or whether, you know, uh, what I said was acceptable and they were like, okay, we'll give him another chance. Uh, I don't even know what I did wrong, so, or if I did anything wrong, so I don't know if that's going to happen again in the future. I do want to thank all of you guys for sticking with me during all that. And uh, it. It's, uh, it was pretty devastating when it happened, but as time went on, I, I realized that it really wasn't all that bad. Uh, you know, I still 
had my channel, I still had you guys, and unfortunately, there was, it came a point where I couldn't even upload anymore. And then I was like, okay, well then I don't have my channel anymore. There's not a whole lot I can do about that. We're, we're gonna try picking this stuff up. In fact, I'm gonna pick it up and just drag it back here. You know what? I am going to move this because I don't want any more of my stuff to be sold. Oh, no, we definitely don't want to be losing that. Uh, let's put this down and we'll attach that next to it. And I will move this over here into the back. Let's put this over here as well. And this way, at least, uh, maybe we can experiment with some stuff and see if this stuff will will make anything. Uh, we need to move this yellow stuff. I do know that once it gets it in its head to do something, you know, like to use it for a piece to make it, it's kind of hard to get it to stop. Like, I, I would wish that it would recycle. Oh, man, maybe we shouldn't have done that. I moved some of those blocks in the front. Uh, we hadn't had any issue with our our, our bot really just uh, bouncing around. Maybe it found a nice equilibrium there, and it was just uh, happy the way it was. But, you know, it does not seem to be the case now. It seems to be causing some issues. And we're getting a little bit of lag now because we have so many things back here. So I guess I will put that back here so it can sell again. Let's see. Uh, we have this that was not even attached anymore. It's my uh, my actual bot. So let's put this here. It'll go ahead and start selling some stuff. Wow, 150 or whatever that was. But that's the green stuff. That stuff is worth a lot when it's buying. And the green stuff is actually used in like AI modules. I've done that in the past. I've actually used it to make some stuff. It's pretty cool. I like AI modules when they work. Uh, and I'm told on the next patch that's one of the things they're going to be working on is the AI. I think the idea behind it, which for those of you who may not have built one or know very much about them, uh, the whole thing behind it is that it's supposed to. What is this stuff? Rodite, a bright electrical blue powder of fossil rock. It has very corrosive qualities. Rodite can be refined into a very acidic. Uh, well, can that be made into anything, maybe? Maybe not? I don't know. Let's see. Instead of selling everything there, what if we move it over here? Maybe uh, we'll take this stuff off. I hate selling the the black ore because I know we need it and we don't really get a whole lot of it. what I need is that that grayish stuff uh, or the white stuff that you can turn things I don't remember what that came off of I should have been paying way way close attention to that but just kind of running around harvesting to my heart's content and wasn't really looking I bet it comes off of one of these rocks I don't know what okay, so we have some red ones and we have some blue ones over here uh, of course, it's all rolling downhill. It's not really uh, in our interest to go down there. Do you, oh, there it is. That's what we need, the blue stuff. Okay, so we are going to move this over so nothing gets sold. Let's put this down here so it can get refined. And this is exactly what we need. Yes, perfect. Let's make some weapons, guys. As soon as it's refined into something. And it doesn't seem like it wants to. Like, it's going all the way over over here on this side. There it goes. Nice. Okay, is it going to get its turn? Yeah, it did. Oh, no, wait. That made something completely different. What did that make? That made a uh, a, GI, a GSO multi-seeker module. That's not what I wanted. Let's go in there again. There we go. We got some weapons. We got one anyways. I'm trying to hover up above it, uh, over it, so I can see what the recipe was for that. Uh, so yeah, this stuff seems to be in the base ingredient in a lot of stuff, and then the uh, the uh, crystal makes these uh, AI like just like I was saying last time. So okay, we got that. We need more of that though. We need a lot more of that resource that is used in a lot of things. I don't really know what I'm going to use these AI modules for, to be honest, for the time being. Kind of really don't even need them. Maybe uh, what happened here? going on doesn't like it doesn't like something there we go a little bit of resources stuck underneath oh no no, no. stop moving stop moving there we go uh need a need an easier way to recycle through this stuff let's let's put this over here uh it doesn't like being over there <laughs> nowhere does this 
thing like be okay. We got some more blue stuff down here. Yes, yes, yes. This is the one we want. Oh, that's right. No, back up. You guys are killing me here, Smalls. Just killing me. Oh. So much lag. I can't even get off of these rocks. I can't even hit it. What are the chances? Pretty good with my stuff. Let's hit it now. No. Not even that. What about down here? Well, at least destroys that one. What that does me. What I could do is move this wheel, since it's not doing any good anyway. No? Seriously? And it won't let me back up. Like I'm not doing anything right here. Okay, so what I could do, I think, yeah, I think this is the only method I could use. Stick it underneath my bot. Put that on there. Oh, you're going down. Huh? That's right. Uh-huh. That's the way you do it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I like it. There we go. Let's put that there. Put that stuff back. Because it was such a great design in the first place. Not. And then we are going to be stuck down here because there's no way we're getting up this hill. And look how fast that little midget dude is going. Oh, man. No. No. We, 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 we want to fight you, but we don't. We don't want to be stuck out here. Because I know with our, with our luck we're going to get an invader. I need to get back into the grassland. Let me in. Let me in. Open says me. Come on, there we go. Yes. Uh, safety, somewhat. And I am kicking some serious butt now that I got more weapons. I think that has just been my issue, actually, is I just haven't had the weapons to do the things that I needed to do. I mean, I've had the size and I've had the the pieces, but unfortunately, without the firepower, it's something flashing. I wonder what that is. Maybe it's the uh, the bot that I kind of left over there to to just kind of rot because I didn't have the space. So let's put this back so it can start selling some more. Wow, we are really racking up the money, but more than that, we've managed to save ourselves from having to buy uh, a lot of the pieces that uh, we really needed, like the weapons. And that ore used to be a lot more common. Like, I used to find that stuff all over the place. And now I'm not really finding it, and this stuff never really has anything. I think maybe I destroy it too quickly is the, the thing. What is this? Is this part of my bot from Earth? Yeah, I don't think it is, but I've never seen uh, a venture bot in this far, really, so it has to be. Can I not pick that up? No, I cannot pick that up. Let's move a little further in. There's a light here. Yeah, this looks like part of my bot. Maybe I was uh, too hasty and I ran away before I picked everything up. Although I could have swore I looked around and I didn't see anything, but you guys will have to let me know. I'm sure you will. Anytime I've ever missed anything, you guys are uh, very good about letting me know that and in a good way i'm not uh, you know saying that's a negative thing it's actually uh very good to know that uh, to keep my eyes open that there's really something there that i could have gotten into. it's kind of heartbreaking when that happens but at the same token you know it does help me to uh, be a little bit more aware yeah punk haha you are dead no you're not oh crap how did you survive there's nothing left of your body, and yet somehow you managed to survive that. That's not. That's cheating. Big cheater. Let's see. We're going to get one of your weapons. If we can get a little closer. Actually, we're going to get both of your weapons. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we are. I kind of wish when you picked up a new item, they would put uh, some sound effects in there that you haven't discovered before, like with Zelda. Anytime you got something new, it was a big, big, uh, you know, thing. Like, you get da 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 you know, that little uh, noise that pretty much everybody can recognize, uh, even if they didn't play the Zelda game. They didn't play the games. I think that's something that's missing in some of the newer games, is the sound effects. I mean, yeah, this one has wonderful music, and that's, that's you know, a very, very cool thing to have. But I don't know if it has the unique sound effects. Maybe, yeah, the weapons are cool too, but you need that, that something that really just stands out above everything else. The weapons sound like weapons, you know, so... It's not like I can say, oh, okay, those are the weapons from Terratech when I hear them firing. I'm like, uh, that could be pretty much from any game uh, for the most part. I mean, yeah, you know, it doesn't sound like, uh, you know, Call of Duty or anything like that. But, you know, a little bit like Halo, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Some of the weapons that you get off of that uh, kind of sound a little bit close to it. But for the most part, uh, I think it just needs that something. A little bit. The sound effects, whether you guys realize it or not, are huge. In, in delivering, you know, the mood of something. I watched a video um, 
I think it was Pin and Tail of the PS, that they took one of the shows, one of those, uh, I think it was one of those ghost shows, those, uh, you know, like, we're gonna go into a haunted house, we're gonna stay the night, and we're gonna, you know, use all these little gadgets to, to pick up electricity in the air, and, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna scream and yell and kinda, you know, mess around and stuff like that. And people get kind of creeped out about those because the, the lighting and the music in the background, they don't even realize it. And in the show, they, they do the exact same thing. They show the exact same episode before, you know, with all the, the sound effects that they use. And then they turn uh, the same episode into uh, clown music. And you watch it, and you're like, eh, mm, yeah, this is, yeah, it's not very scary at all. The sound effects are what's doing it. And these people are very, very talented. Because they know exactly how to build it up. And, you know, anybody who's ever gone through a movie and... You, when they're building up the scene, sometimes they will actually build that sound up for like 10 or 15 minutes very, very slowly in the background. So by the time it gets to the point where, you know, it's and stuff like that, uh, you feel it like you've, you've built up with it and it's very dramatic and everything. And that's exactly why they pay those guys so much money because they're very good at it. And I think uh, in some games, the sound kind of get overlooked because they are rather expensive to hire somebody to do that. I think this game is, is well on its way to uh, to getting that done. It's, it's just, uh, you know, little bit by little bit. That's kind of what they're doing, you know. The more people who buy it, you know, to uh, go and get the uh, game skill and development, the more money they have to work with and the better product that eventually uh, they will be finished with. Uh, and I don't know if these companies ever get finished. I mean, that's one. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. We need that stuff. Okay. Let's uh, move this over if I can. Let's move it over here so it's nice and safe, and then we will pick this stuff up. Uh, I think that's one of the, the drawbacks of the game development is that do they do you ever finish? You know, like at what point do you say, okay, the game is as it should be, as if we had the money to start with, and this is what we would have produced because of it. And uh, we got a will out of that. One of these. Uh, Let's see what the recipe is for that, actually. Uh, no, there we, come on, hold on. I wish there was another way to do this other than holding your cursor over it. Maybe, uh, maybe middle button clicking on it or something. Okay, so unrefined with rubber brick makes you a GSO stabilizing well. I did not know that, but uh, unfortunately we used all of those resources that I was hoping to actually uh, get something out of. I guess it just comes out of the rock naturally. Like, that one didn't seem to have any color to it. Maybe I was uh, mistaken on that. Maybe it did. And since we're using the stuff in the back, I think I'm going to go ahead and put this stuff back here as well. It doesn't seem to be doing me very much good in the front anymore. So let's bring this stuff back. In fact, we'll, we'll keep one up there, just in case. But I think we can pull the other one back. Um, I need to put it in someplace better, like over here, maybe. If we can fit it in there. Yes, we can. Uh... This, this is my radar. I like the radar being where it is, but I need to move it. Let's see. We need to move this up. It's our cab. One of them, anyways. We have, like, three on the bot. I do like that because it gives them more than one target, which means they don't use all of their uh, their firepower. They don't center it all in one area. Because that can be pretty overwhelming to do that. It's, it's kind of rough to deal with all the firepower in one little spot. Uh, it's it's doable, but it's not something I prefer. Fill that in. There we go. I guess it was because I moved one of those tractor pads. Wow, that's moving a whole lot easier now that I've taken that off the front. Let's come over here. We are going to get this rock. Yes, this is exactly what we want. And if you watch that, you could see that some of those actually got destroyed. So I think your your weapon fire can actually destroy that stuff, which is kind of unfortunate. I didn't know that, and I don't really like that too much. I mean, it makes sense, but at the same time, stop making those things. <laughs> I don't want those. Why would I want those? There we go. A wheel that I don't want either. Ugh. No. Wh where did that come from? What? Where did this come from? I picked it up, but I... I oh, no. Where are you? No, you suck. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. No, not after all this work. You can't destroy me. Oh, my God. He's destroying me. And he's not going to give me time to turn around. Oh, no. No, not a second one. 
Got a second one. Oh, leave me alone, punk. Okay, back up, back up. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, you suck. You're back there. Okay, you know what? I do have weapons on the top, so... Going down, punk. I'm gonna have to go back and pick up all that stuff and knock off my base. Die already. How can you still be alive? There we go. I'm taking your wheels. You don't deserve them. You lost your driving privileges. Uh, we are going to pick up your radar because I think you knocked one of mine off. And I only managed to save one wheel out of that because I picked it up early before he blew up. That's what I'm talking about is his, his damage is so much greater than it used to be. Okay, let's see if I can retrace my steps. Which way did I go? Yeah, there we go. See some of my base is actually on the ground over there. Ugh. These guys, they love to attack when you least expect it. I don't even know where he came from. Like, he must have literally spawned right on top of us or something because that was, that was not what I wanted. And we did make a block, so that's pretty good. Maybe come back over here. I don't think there is. Uh, I think that's everything, right? Yeah. I mean, we'll come over. No, there's a guy over there. Yeah, we're going to hold off on that. So I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. And in between this episode and the next one, I am going to go ahead and redesign my bot. Get a whole bunch more wheels. Oh, wow. This fell off as well. we got to put that back on. We cannot lose that. There we go. Nope. Back here. And I'm going to cover this back part up finally. I'm going to give uh, some more weapons to this back part as soon as I can. Because, uh, yeah, this is just too dangerous to have it like this. Again, guys, if you do like these episodes, please hit that like button, subscribe. Definitely help grow my channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Also, make sure to leave comments down below, because I love hearing back from you guys. And uh, your comments and your, your ideas are really, really amazing. So, yeah, keep them coming, guys. And again, guys, I will catch you on the next episode. Thanks again for watching.